inverse of square root function. Determine inverse of f of x equals to minus square root of x plus 5. Now this is a very interesting question and I like you to solve this question and then look into my solution. Now when you want to do such kind of problems my suggestion is try to sketch it so that you get fairly good idea of what you should be expecting as your answer right now here if I am trying to sketch this function which is minus x plus 5 square root so basically it's a transformation of square root function so this is let us say our square root function right so what we do is minus means you flip it on this side on the y-axis correct that is minus of square root x and plus 5 means you'll move it 5 units on the left and so you get a function like this so this function is basically f of x right so this is starting at 5 minus 5 and moving downwards now as you can see for the given function what is the domain domain of the function given to us is that x has to be greater than or equal to minus 5. And how about the range? Range for the given function is that y is less than or equal to 0. Correct? That is the domain and range for the given function. Now, let's do domain and range for inverse of the function. Now, if we have instead of this, f inverse of x, then what should be the domain and range for that? It will swap, right? So the domain will be this, that is, x is less than or equal to 0, and the range will be that, that is, y will be greater than or equal to minus 5. So y becomes greater than or equal to minus 5 and x becomes less than or equal to 0, right? So that is what inverse of this function is going to be. And if you try to sketch it, then let's draw a line y equals to x here. In that case, the graph will flip, right? And this point, which is at x intercept of minus 5, will be seen kind of here as a y-intercept, right? And the one which is going down will go like kind of up upwards, right? I exactly don't know what this point is going to be. We are not calculating that at present for this. Uh, but still, we know that the graph will be kind of going moving like this, right? So it's a kind of parabola whose x is less than or equal to 0 and y is greater than minus 5. So it's kind of going up from here. So that is what we are expecting as inverse of the given function. Correct? Now with this in mind, let's start working it out. So let's find inverse of this function. So we have y equals to minus square root of x plus 5. To find inverse, we'll swap x and y. And we get x equals to minus square root of y plus 5. Now we can multiply by minus and say minus x equals to square root of y plus 5. And to get rid of this, we'll square both sides. Now squaring both sides causes all the problem. So what we are doing now is we are actually squaring a negative number. And that is a big problem. So whenever you have this kind of a thing, you're squaring both sides, you're actually incorporating error, right? So you have to be very careful at this stage. Now, you know our function is negative and we are expecting a domain which is less than or equal to 0. So here at this stage, I know we will we'll move on to the right side and I will explain you. At this stage, we can write this as x squared equals to y plus 5 but we should implement our restriction and which is x is less than or equal to 0. That is truly the right way of doing it. Now solve for y, right? So we get y equals to x square minus 5 equals to y and we can write 
f inverse of x equals to x square minus 5 where x is less than equal to 0 the same condition do you see that now we we get our inverse function that is our parabola is moving up from 5 right and then we get our our answer do you understand so that is how we have to get the solution and so our answer now is that f inverse x let me write it here f inverse x is equals to x square minus 5 where x is less than equals to 0 at this stage you should also check both domain and range right do they comply with what we had started right this is what so we know now that x is less than equals to 0 which we imposed on it since we were doing squaring both sides and we get y greater than equals to minus 5 that is correct so that is how it should be so it's kind of very important whenever you have these kinds of functions then you should take care of domain and range so wherever the restrictions are there it is important to use these kinds of restrictions now as a practice problem I would like you to solve for this or rather find inverse of I'll give you another function let's say g of x equals to minus square root of minus x plus 5 so I've changed it a bit right I've written find inverse of g of x equals to minus minus x plus 5 instead of x plus 5 right now do this on your own and check with domain and range do they match or not okay thank you